fly like you stole it. And welcome back to the fifth video in this playlist. So what I'm going to cover today is the final build. All the all the uh, hardware is now put together, wired up, and I've have actually already plugged in the lipo to make sure it all works. Um, I'm not going to go through uh, continuity tests again because I've already done it twice before. So I shall go through the connectivity that I've done, and then um, I'm going to do a configuration video on configuring all the parts of the build. Um, the run cam because I found I found very little information on doing the run cam, the GPS. Um, how I'm going to configure beta flight, uh, update the ESCs. I also need to reverse the uh, gyro on the flight controller because I've got my board turned around 180 degrees as it's, as it's meant to be put in. As a result, I have to remap all the motors as well. But I'll, uh, I'll cover that in that build as well. So going across to the frame. So the run cam now. Is all fitted. It's on a, uh, it's on its plate, and it sits quite nicely. The wires you can't see are actually sat underneath the camera here, and they run under the camera, underneath, and they come up around the back of the board. I like to keep the wires neat and out the way as best I can. So up front here on the board is where the UATs are. So we've got UAT one at the top, which is running across to the uh, TBS Nano. Then we have UART3, which is run to the run cam for the FC control, so I can turn on and off the recording from my transmitter. I'm going to set up one of my toggle switches, so when the quad's out, ready to go, flip toggle switch, starts recording, off I go. And then just remember to turn it off when I land again. Uh, further down then, UART6 is here. Now this is where my GPS is connected up to. Uh, further on you can just see it, that one there is for, that's a UART for Smart Audio, which is attached to the Unify, so again, using Lua scripts, Lua scripts on my transmitter, I can control, well, a lot, uh, channel, power, I can also do beat flight settings on there, really nice feature if you've got a spare UART and you can do it i recommend doing it it's a, a nice handy feature and lets you do a lot of configuration and just changing simple settings out in the field without needing a laptop uh, moving through we've got the five volt dc pad here a uh, common ground pad there now getting a bit further back here uh, there's a big splodge of hot glue now to explain why that's there in a minute underneath is the ground pads for the camera it's also the video in and out for the osd so the run cam runs to one pad and the vtx runs to the other pad um, but the reason it's hot glued is i did actually manage to lift a pad um, the pads are really small and really close together uh, i might have been a bit heavy-handed and the osd pad for the vtx i did actually manage to lift but I did manage to scrape away a little bit, um, resoldered it back down again, and I put some hot glue in it just to hold it back down and to make sure it doesn't actually move at all. I've checked over, it just seemed to be working fine, but at some point I may have to look at um, getting a new board in there. Just don't tell Alex and Mantec. So the VTX is double sided sticky tape down, you can't see it, but then it's black tape down as well, and then the Nano is the same is sticky double so sticky tape down and that's just squished in there it's not going anywhere i will get a bit more tape to cover across all these but i just wanted to leave the wires open so you could see them and so i could hit the bind button um which is buried under the ufl connector there when i was setting all this up but i'm happy now it all works all powers on if i plug it in There we go. So all the beeps from the ESCs are expecting. The GPS is lit up and given it time, even though I'm in the house, it will actually get a GPS signal. I've had six satellites. Now my front window is what six feet in front of me. Well, no, it's a lie. Three feet in front of me. Um, but I'm close enough to get a GPS signal still. So I'm really quite impressed. Uh, outside I should get a good few satellites on that. So you can't 
you probably can't see that the run cam is actually flashing down here. GPS is the board is loaded itself. The nano has got a red light on it because my transmitter is switched off. And then the VTX there is powered up as well and running. The VTX mount is the custom TP1 it just sits on two standoffs with the SMA adapter. Um, you can't see it from this video shot, but what I do is I'll put a, a picture up. And then the TBS Immortal T at the bottom, um, that mount was actually just got from um, Thingiverse. It's nice, simple, quick to print, and it just works, and it mounts the antenna quite nicely at the back. That's not going anywhere. So that's really it for this video. Next video will be configuring everything up. I'll try to take some video of the run cam as I do that through the DVR on my goggles. Um, I'll go through the beta flight setup and the ESC's upgrade. Um, if there is a firmware flash room, I haven't checked yet. And I'm going to be running reverse props in this. So when I do my motor directions, I need to make that in, take that into account on the uh, BL Heli software to make sure my motors spin the wrong way to what they should do. So when I flip the switch in BL Heli, in uh, beta flight, it doesn't uh, go wrong and it should work fine. And then after that lot, it's just down to the flight video. So that is it for now. Um, I'm going to pause this video and then I'm going to make the new one in a little while. All right, thank you very much for watching.